Hey guys, Allie with iMore here, and today we're going to take a look at some of the changes with the power button functionality in OS X Mavericks. We've been getting a lot of questions about this, and if you guys have upgraded to OS X Mavericks from a previous version of OS X, you may have noticed that the way the power button behaves is a little bit differently. So we're going to go over how the power button actually functions in OS X Mavericks in relation to iOS. So the first thing we're going to look at is how you lock, unlock your Mac, or um, in other words, put put the computer to sleep. So in Mavericks, all you have to do is the power button up in the top right corner or in the back if you have an iMac. Um, you just tap it and the screen goes to sleep. So basically, tap it again, wakes up. If you have a passcode, which I do, you're asked to put that in again. Uh, so you can keep doing that and see that it's pretty much, it's just like your phone. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, it's similar to this behavior. If you have a passcode, you're asked for it. I don't on this phone, but um, it's very similar to that behavior. So the next change, and we'll get back on here and log in. Okay, so I've logged back in here, and now the second change we'll see, um, in order to shut down or um, restart your computer, you can tap the power button and hold it down for about two seconds and you get this dialogue. It says, are you sure you want to shut down your computer now? You can choose between restart, sleep, cancel, and shut down. Sleep is what we just showed you. You just tap the power button. Um, that's an easy way to get to that. Uh, restart will just restart it, um, and obviously shut down will shut it down completely. You can also check the box to reopen Windows when logging back in. Um, so we're gonna hit cancel here. And this is very similar to the way in iOS you would shut down your iPhone. So you just hold down this top power button and you'd slide to power off. While the iPhone doesn't have a restart option, I would gather that if it did, you'd probably find it here. Um, and lastly, if you hold down the power button for a period of time and ignore that pop-up box, your Mac will shut down. So this is, I would only suggest really doing, if you're having an issue, it's frozen, it won't respond any other way. Um, this is very similar to the way you do it on the iPhone. The only difference is obviously you'd hold the home button down as well. So um, in this scenario, obviously we hold the home button down, it hard reboots. So again, when your phone freezes, something like that, same thing. So if you're having issues remembering um, or you're used to the old way that um, OS X used to handle the power button, just remember what you would do to turn on, off, or reboot your iPhone or your iPad and um, you should be good to go. Uh, if you have questions, let us know in the comments. Also let us know, do you like the new behavior? Do you not like it? Why or why not? Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.